as a chiropractor, when someone comes in in pain and you're able to take that pain away, it, it gives you an overall feeling of, of uh, achievement. So from that point of view, it's something that I felt I, was, I wanted to do all my life. Through a series of personal issues, I had a sea change, if you like, and ended up at Murdoch University studying to be a chiropractor. It was, it was one of the hardest things I've, I've ever done because I started, as I said, later in life, but very rewarding. As an Aboriginal person, we're always trying to be part of society, and from the chiropractic point of view, it, it, it's very similar. You can imagine what it's like when I've grown up and had a little bit of uh, discrimination as an Aboriginal person, and then become a doctor and uh, have people say to you that oh, you're not a real doctor and uh, uh, that sort of thing. So that all that made me more determined to succeed. I'm very, very proud to be recognised in this manner. It's hard to put it in words in, in the context and you never really expect to get rewarded for things that you feel strongly about and uh, you, you do to the best of your ability. So uh, to be nominated in the first place, to be voted on and accepted as chiropractor of the year, it's just amazing. I'd like to see more Aboriginal chiropractors involved. We, I think I'm one of less than 10 in Australia. There's a lot of people that don't see chiropractors because of financial reasons, etc, etc. And I, I think if we went to them and opened up the rural and remote areas, then chiropractic overall would reap the benefits down the track. And uh, some voluntary work doesn't hurt anyone. I'd love to see that incorporated into our CPD points. I, I think that's what you have to do to, to um, enhance the reputation and the profile of chiropractic. Sorry.